Hi everybody, today I got a pair of Nike Air Max 1 IDs from 2016. I made 15 pairs, this is pair number 5. Um, I used black, white and gold. Um, I made these a year ago, literally it's June now, I made these last June. And I don't know man, I keep looking at what my design, like, I got that email you know, from Nike Web, I look at the picture and I'm like... I could have done better, I don't know. At the time, I thought, you know, these were really good. But then, I don't know. When I keep looking at it, I'm like, yeah. I don't usually make Nike IDs unless I'm 100% happy with the design. So, let's just see. This one, I'd say, I don't know, 99% happy. Actually, they look better than I thought. <laughs> they look... Better than I thought. Oh wow. Yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. Anyway, um let me just get the next one out and I'll go through like my options and uh, what I what I used and whatnot. Hold up. By the way, you got um a Nike what is it Nike ID is it? Yeah. On the tissue paper, whatever, whatever, made by you. Made by you again. Sorry man, I'm just longing this out but there we go, and you got like a silver swoosh, yeah? Alright, hold up. Okay, so... Yeah, man, yeah, alright, you know. I was, yeah, honestly, I was unsure about these, like, I kept looking at the picture and I was like, I don't know if I should have, like, made them or not, but, nah, I do like them. I do like them, man, and I'm a big fan of, like, the white mud guard. Because, like, with the contrast, I mean. So you've got like black, white, black. Anyway, um, let me get, I'll get into that later. But okay, let's start with, let's just start with the underlay, right? I got black mesh. I always use mesh, well, a lot of the time because I don't like how leather creases. So I'm a big fan of mesh. Obviously, you've got mesh, mesh, mesh. No. <laughs> you've got mesh on this bit here and also on the ankle area. I used a metallic gold leather on the quarter. I had a silver option too. I used that on one of my other shoes or maybe on a few of my other shoes. But yeah, now gold just worked better on this one. Um, I used a um, gum outsole. Simply because it kind of complements the gold quarter to an extent. You know what I mean? Like you would kind of like link that with that because it's like similar. So that's why I used the gum outsole. Uh, the, like I said, the mud guard, it's white, it's a white leather. Um, I don't know what other options I had, but I think it was just leather, I don't know. But yeah, none of it actually I had that metallic silver as well, that metallic gold and silver option as well. But then I was feeling the leather. I think I had suede as well, you know. Sorry, I'm just like rambling, but yeah. No, but I went with leather, white leather. Um, the swoosh is a black suede I don't like using suede on my trainers because it messes up but on a swoosh I thought it's mine it's a small part of a shoe so I went with black um, suede the lining is just white again that's to complement the mud guard so you got like a hit of white and a hit of white and the laces are like this black with white on them but I am going to swap them over. Um, I was going to put in these white laces with the gold aglets. You know what? Now would be a great time for me to just to pause this video and like do a lace swap. Hold up one sec, please. Okay, and we're back. So now I've put in the white laces with the gold aglets. And I think it's got a like more of a pop. Like, if I spin it around, um, I've also put in the gold aglets just on the black and white ones, just to show you what it would look like. But for me, it has to be the white laces. It just, yeah, man, it's that pop, you know? Just, and the balance is just right. The balance between like black and white and even a gold is just right. So, yeah, for me, it has to be the white. But yeah, okay, so 
it's all about a lace swap. A lot of my IDs, I do lace swaps like, straight up. Just yeah, just because and plus also because like a lot of the time with Nike IDs, when you do the laces, the eyelet is also the, like the same color automatically. So if you want two different colors, you're gonna have to do a lace swap. Um, moving on, let's go to my midsole. I went with a black OG midsole. I played I played around with the Luna midsole, but it was I wasn't feeling it. I did a white midsole; it wasn't working. So I think there was like a grey midsole as well, like a silver midsole. I may have used it on one of my other pairs, but for this pair, it had to be black. You know, black, white, and gold. That was the theme. That was the colorway. Um, I threw in, well, threw in. I put white speckles on them, um, just because it added that extra little bit of pizzazz. What a word! Yeah, it just it just seemed right. When I didn't put the speckles on, you know, it still looked good, but a bit plain. It just adds an extra element to it, so yeah, it had to be speckles, and it had to be white. White on black. Um, then we got the airbag. Well, it said it was supposed to be clear, but I swear that's black. I mean, that's black, in it? Yeah, that, that is black, but it was supposed to be clear, but I think it's because I did a black midsole, maybe that's what it was. But whatever, it's minor, black works, it's alright. Um, the, yeah, the outer, I said already, you know, it's gum, whatnot, all the way through, toe to heel. Um, if I did a lunar midsole, this would have been two-tone, but because of, you know, because of the nature of the lunar midsole. Um, and my ID on the back, hold up, hold up, one, one more thing, sorry. The tongue is also going to be black mesh with the um, black background label and a white logo and then you've got Nike ID on the inside and my ID on the back I use that black and there you have it let people know um, yeah I use black because it had to be either black I wouldn't use gold because you can't even see it so it was either black or white and I don't know yeah I don't know why I chose black over white, but I think because, I don't know, white was right there, or, I don't know, black's right there, I don't know. It's black or white, I chose black, it is what it is, and yeah, man, there you have it. Those are my black, white, and gold Nike IDs. Um, feel free to comment, let me know what you think. I've uploaded, like, the other four pairs prior to this, like, it's in a playlist, so... I mean, you can go and find it if you want to see the others. I've got, what, 10 more pairs of these to show you. And, yeah, I'll, when I get around to opening them, I'll, I'll open them. But, yeah, anyway, I'm rambling now. Let me know what you think in the comments. Any questions, just ask and I'll reply, probably. Uh, my Instagram is footwear in the fridge. My website is footwearinthefridge.com. And... Yeah, rate, comment, and subscribe. I do like these, man. Seriously, like I was so sorry. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this one more time. Like I was like a bit skeptical about opening this box. I thought, oh man, these don't look good at all. Like on that, when you, you know, like I said, when you go on Nike ID, when you go on Nike ID, when you make a shoes, Nike send you an email, and they have a picture of like your design. And I had that picture on my phone, and I kept looking at, it, kept looking at. It, and I was like. I don't know, man, it's all right, but I don't know, it's just standard, I don't know, but no, nah, these are good, man, these are good. Anyway, I'm going to shut up now, I'll see you lot later, bye.